Hey, Helga. I heard your sister Olga's coming home from college this week. She's so great. She's pretty and popular, and she's a fabulous dresser. Not to mention an award-winning scholar. And she's so nice and friendly. You must love having her as a sister. Oh, yeah. I just love Olga. Then, when I finished my concerto, roses at my feet. The entire orchestra gave me a standing ovation. Ah, oh, that's my girl. And here I am on the cover of this month's Leaders of Tomorrow with the Raja of Malgaway. He's oodles of fun. <laughs> I'm just so proud of you, dear. I'm going to barf. I saved the best news for last. I've met a wonderful boy and I'm dropping out of school to marry him and move to the big city. What is this, some kind of joke? No, Daddy. That's the best thing that's ever happened to me. He's handsome and dreamy, and he's a fabulous actor. Of course, he's not famous yet, so I'll get a job and support us both. But isn't it romantic? No, no, you're throwing your life away. Olga, don't make the same mistake I made. Gee, Olga, this is great news. When can we meet him? I can't remember life before my darling Olga. She knows my deepest torments and my darkest fears. She's my angel, my soulmate, my shining light. Oh. This guy's all hat and no kettle. So. How long have you two known each other? Three weeks and two days. So then what's the stinking rush all about? Get married in a year, if you still want to. You won't want to. Mommy, Daddy, please don't be hard. It's okay, darling. Your parents need time to adjust. Hey, hey, you little twist top. Big Bob Pataki doesn't adjust, you got it? Daddy, it's not fair to make Olga choose between us and her true love. <laughs> That's right, Daddy. You're being an awful brute. And Mommy, you're not even trying to like talk. I am so miserable. <laughs> <laughs> if I play my cards right, I can get rid of Olga for good. <laughs> Nap out of it! Can't, Olga, I'm just so upset that you have to do something. Like, run away and get married. Olga, you can't elope. Mommy and Daddy would be furious. I know. I, I mean, that would be terrible, but isn't it worse thinking about life without... So, here's the deal. You start packing, and I'll go outside and sneak the ladder under your window. You guys will be married in no time. Helga, I feel like, like we're truly bonding at last. I just don't know how to think. Don't mention it. Oh, boy. So you played left tackle for Green Bay, huh? Yeah. They're the toughest, strongest guys around. Next to retail salesmen. Salesmen? Oh, come on, you're just greasing my chassis. No, sir. The proudest moment of my life won't be from my football days, Bob. It'll be the day I'm named Appliance Salesman of the Year. What's this guy up to? One day, I hope to make enough money as an actor to start my own major appliance chain. Appliance chain? That was my dream. Oh, gee. It'll be the son I never had. And one day, Big Bob's Beeper Emporium will be all yours. Criminy! Dad hated this guy ten minutes ago. <laughs> Uh, darling, uh, oh, it's it's you, Mrs. Pataki. Goodness, you look so young. I, I must confess for a moment, I could have sworn you were my beloved Olga. Oh, that's very, very sweet, Douglas, but it is not true. Oh, yes, it is. The only difference between you is that you have the powerful shoulders of, obviously, a natural athlete. Ugh. Well, I don't like to brag, but I used to be an Olympic-class swimmer. Really? What a coincidence. I was an Olympic-class diver. <laughs> Olympic-class liar, you mean. Hey, Dougmeister, it's fourth down at inches. Oh, that B in his football. I never really understood football, Mary. Such a coarse oh, game. Oh, man, this guy's a total liar. If Olga marries him, our life will be ruined. Perfect. Okay, new plan. Forget what I said about running away with Doug. Everything's changed. What happened? Doug worked Mom and Dad over. I, I mean, he won him over. So now they're crazy about him. Oh, I knew it. I just knew they'd love him. Yeah, I couldn't have picked anyone better myself. <gasps> wow, Helga. I had no idea Doug used to be a professional race car driver. Wise up, Arnold. The guy's a fake. A fake? He's been lying about all the stuff he's done ever since he got here. And he's planning on living off Olga and my dad. Really? And your sister still wants to marry him? <laughs> she doesn't know anything about it. It's my little secret. Well, if he's really as bad as you say he is, you gotta do something, Helga. No, I don't. It serves her right. Olga's always gotta be so perfect. It's just that if you have a sister and she's in trouble, you're supposed to do something about it. Hey, who asked you anyway? Okay, forget I mentioned it, Helga. Look, what light from yonder window breaks. It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Yeah, that's real good. It's Shakespeare, Mary. Uh-huh. Romeo, oh, Romeo, wherefore art thou, Romeo? What a surprise. All my favorite people. Sorry I can't stay. Did Olga tell you the good news? Tell 
Let's end the astronaut program. I'm going to Mars! So, let me give you the whole tour. <laughs> I am so unhappy! Oh, am... for crying out loud. Well, suck it up, Olga. You ruined your life, and now you have to live with it. Why aren't you smart like Helga? She's brilliant. She is smart. You... <laughs> What's so funny, Helga? <gasps> Nothing. Oh, darling, Helga, isn't it just wonderful? Less than an hour from now, I'll be Mrs. Douglas Sham. Oh, it's all just too perfect. Is it? I'm sorry I'm crying, Helga. It's just that I know my life with Doug is going to be so wonderful and happy. And I want to thank you for helping me make it all possible. Don't mention it. It was important to me that Mom and Dad liked Doug, but it meant the most to me that you liked him. I've never told you, but I always thought you were really wise when it comes to judging people. Really? Really. We haven't always been very close, but I'm really, really glad you're my sister Helga. I couldn't imagine having a better one. Oh, I was so close! No, sweetheart, I can't make it this weekend. I'm uh, hosting a conference with the mayor on the, uh, the, uh, the homeless problem. But how about next week? We'll go skiing. I miss you too, Linda. Bye. Hello, Doug. Oh, oh, hi, Helga. I, I was just uh, talking to my cousin. Sweet kid. I recently saved her life in a flood. All right, buddy. The jig's up. Jig? I don't know what you mean. Is this some kind of a game? It may be a game to you, and for a while it was to me. But now the game's over. It's time to pick up your marbles and hit the road. I don't get it. What's the joke? You are bucko. Appliance salesman of the year. I was an Olympic swimmer. Mm. Come, come on. You're a liar and a con artist. You played my sister for a sap, and for a while I went along with it because I wanted to see her suffer. But enough is enough. Oh, so you think you've got me all figured out. Is that it? Yeah, that's it. So here's the deal. Either you leave now without so much as a goodbye, or I spill the beans and tear your act down in front of Mom, Dad, and Olga. You're bluffing. Olga's crazy about me, and so are your Mom and Dad. And whatever you say, bucko, I'll just deny it. They won't believe you. How do you know? Because you're jealous of Olga. Everybody knows it. She's prettier than you, she's successful, and guess what? She's popular. What's your point? Well, whatever Olga wants, Olga gets. And in about ten minutes, she gets me for a husband, and I get a cushy ride on the Pataki beeper train. You're not smart enough to mess with me, so don't even try. Let's see. If I push this redial button... Hello, Linda. It's Helga. Olga's sister. You don't know Olga? She's Doug's fiancée. I guess there's a lot you don't know about Doug, is it? Where do I start? Why are you doing this? You don't even like Olga. When your sister's in trouble, you're supposed to do something about it. It doesn't matter if you like her or not. You're supposed to do something about it. Well, it might look bad if I just leave without saying goodbye. I'll take care of the loose ends. I did like her, you know, even if I didn't actually love her. But hey, what's love, anyway? My dearest Olga, words can never truly express my regret and sorrow for what I'm about to tell you. But I find that I must leave you, darling. I've been called away to... I've been called away to help solve the crisis in Namibia. Oh, Mommy, Daddy, he's leaving. It would be selfish and unfair of me to ask you to marry me under these tragic conditions. I hope you know that my love for you is eternal. Yours always, Delta. I can't bear to lose him, Olga! And yet, he's so right. It would have been unfair for me to expect to keep them all to myself. Even this farewell letter was beautiful. Y yeah, yeah, sure. Or it's... Uh, oh, oh, yeah. I have to stay strong. He would, he would be strong. Oh, oh I, 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 I don't even know where to turn now. Oh, oh, right, that's enough. Suck it up, you big crybaby!